Come on, I just, I really feel a sense that God wants to move in our lives. Come on, I just feel the presence of the Holy Spirit in this place. And, and I feel, as we were just in this, this mode of worship, we were asking, Holy Spirit, come and feel this heart again. Can we put that, that little bridge up on the screen? Holy Spirit, burn like fire within. And, and I almost have this, I, I guess a discernment, if you want to think of it that way. But like that some of us don't even know the power of the Holy Spirit and know that the Holy Spirit, God, in the mystery of the Holy Spirit, in the mystery of who He is, wants to fill our hearts with a, with a supernatural dwelling that, that really, it, it transcends and is undescribable. That the Holy Spirit can come and live and dwell inside of us. That there can be like a supernatural empowering of the Holy Spirit upon our lives. And, and I, I just feel like in our, in our worship, if we're gonna worship and say, Holy Spirit, come and fill our hearts again or fill our hearts for the first time or Holy Spirit, come and burn like fire within us. We need to, we need to understand, friends, that there is more to our Christian experience than just coming to church. There is more to our Christian experience than just singing songs. There's more than our Christian experience than just going out on the streets. Come on, there is like this, this divine power that can, can infiltrate your very soul and shift your spirit to a position of worship that's undescribable. Like, you may be sitting there, I don't feel nothing. I, I wanna just, I'm gonna challenge you as I was challenged so many times years ago if you've never experienced the baptism of the holy spirit i want you to just begin to invite the holy spirit to come and live and dwell within you to baptize you afresh and anew with a power that you've never experienced like you can't question or even define as something you've never experienced me and shannon we're going to be going to the Dominican Republic in a few months and like I'm not going to go ask someone who's never been to the Dominican Republic on a missions trip, hey, tell me about the Dominican Republic missions trip. No, they don't know. Maybe they read a book about it. Maybe they went on YouTube and watched videos, but they don't know because they've never experienced the Dominican Republic in a missions trip. I'm here to tell you that there are things in the Spirit, friends, that you have not experienced. And there are things in the Spirit that people have not experienced that try to, to teach that's, that contradicts the truth of the Word. The Bible, the entirety of the New Testament speaks of a baptism in the Holy Spirit. And that you can receive an, an experience that transcends your current experience. And, and friends, we are a powerless church without it. So I, I want us to just, as a church body right now, come on, if you've never experienced or you just want to feel that fire of the Holy Ghost in your life once, once again, come on, I need a fresh burn. I need a fresh fire. I need a fresh outpouring. I need, so I need God to move on my life. I've been carrying a weight, carrying a burden. I need a move of God today. Come on, today is the day that you can experience that, but you have to surrender yourself. You have to surrender yourself to it. So I want us to begin to sing and press in and worship. I want us, come on, if you, if you know the Holy Spirit, if you've been baptized and filled with the Holy Spirit, I want you to extend your hands and worship and say, Holy Spirit, fill my life again. If you've never experienced the baptism of the Holy Spirit, I want you to extend your hands and say, Holy Spirit, fill me. Lord, change me at the same way that you heal Jeremy supernaturally. Fill me with the power of your spirit in this place right now. Come on, we're just going to press in here this morning. Come on, just press in this morning. Come on, extend your hands right now. It's an act of, of worship. It's an act of surrender. Holy
Holy Spirit, come. Holy Spirit, come. Holy Spirit, come. Holy Spirit, come. Right now, begin to fill our hearts, begin to fill our minds, begin to transform us, Lord. Holy Spirit, come. Holy Spirit, fill our hearts again. Come on, would you just begin to cry, make that cry this morning. Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit, burn like fire within. Come on, church, come on, press in, press in. Come on, we need an experience with the Holy Spirit. Come on, we need the Holy Spirit to invade our space, to transform our lives. Holy Spirit, come, Holy Spirit, come. Yes, Lord. Holy Spirit, burn like fire within. Come on, let that be our prayer this morning. Come on, let that be our prayer this morning. Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit, fill this heart again. Come on, there is a desperation. There is a desperate cry that is being birthed. Holy Spirit, burn like fire in there. Come on, let that be your heart cry. Holy Spirit, fill my heart. Holy Spirit, fill this heart again. Lord Jesus, change me, Lord. Change me, Lord. Holy Spirit, burn like fire within. Come on, it's the power of His presence in this place. Come on. It's the power of Your presence that changes us. Your glory all around us. And we're undone. that changes. It's His presence that changes. It's the power of Your presence that changes us. Your glory all around us. And we're done. You open up the heavens. All fresh on us. Come on right now. Come on. It's the power of His presence. It's the power of your presence, Lord, change us, Lord, changes us, your glory all around us, and we're undone, you open up the heavens, fall afresh on us. Come on, right here in this place, Holy Spirit, come, fall on us, fall on us, Lord. Come on, I, I, we need to have a posture of desperation, a posture of worship, a posture of laying ourselves before the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords, a posture that, that places ourselves at the feet of Jesus. Holy Spirit, come. Holy Spirit, come. Come on, we're going to press in this morning for just a move of the Holy Spirit in this place. I feel like God wants to awaken some folks. Come on, I feel like God wants to awaken a, a, a spiritual revival in this house that's going to birth something that's new, birth a new ministry, birth a new business, birth a new hope, birth a new refreshing. Come on, if you want change, it's the Holy Spirit that changes us. It's the Holy Spirit that changes us. Come on, as we go into this next song, I just want to encourage you. I want to encourage you, press in like you've never pressed in before. Press in like you've never pressed in before. Come on, God responds to our worship. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Come on, can you just extend your hands to heaven right now? 
Lord Jesus, we just look to you, Lord. Change us, transform us, send your spirit into this place. Lord, prepare our hearts. Prepare our hearts. We thank you, Jesus. We thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah.
Lord, he is holy. He is holy. He is righteous. But he is king. He is victor. He is conqueror. He is the sovereign one. He's the holy one, the righteous one. He's the king of kings, the Lord of lords. He's the great I am. He is our healer. He's our deliverer. He's our provider. He's our restorer, our redeemer. He's our strong tower. Come on, he is Jesus. He is Jesus. Lord, we worship you. of our hearts, Lord. Holy Spirit, begin to heal and begin to restore our hearts towards you. Fill us, invade the atmosphere. Lord, begin to shift the spiritual atmosphere of our hearts right now, Lord. As worry, anxiety, stress, depression, Lord, tries to find its way. Lord, I pray that the Holy Spirit's presence within us would just begin to invade our hearts. Shift the atmosphere. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Come on, I just feel joy rising up in this place. Come on, I feel some joy that's just rising up in this place. Hallelujah. I feel joy rising up in this place. Come on, I believe that God wants to fill us with the fruit of his spirit. Come on, love and joy. But there's gotta be joy in the house of the Lord. I don't know about you, but I didn't come here to feel downtrodden and downcast, but there is joy in the house of the Lord. Come on, where the spirit of the Lord is, there is freedom. There is peace, there is joy, there is hope. Hallelujah. 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 I don't know what the worship team's doing, but we're going to go with it. Hallelujah. Where the Spirit of the Lord is, there is freedom. Come on, I think somebody needs to jump in this place. Some joy in this place. No more shackles, no more. 